this project should be undertaken with parental or adult supervision to ensure a safe and enjoyable experience. Sammy, get up! Your time has come! Ah! Save me! Help! Sammy! I just started living my slime life! If you can't give me anything that will surprise or please me, I'll take you with me! No! Hey, Sammy, what's up? Someone very scary wants to take me if I don't give them something cool! Don't panic, I have an idea. We'll do something quick and easy. Let's go! Hey, guys! Today, I suggest we create some trinkets. Oops. La, 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 la. Uh, so be careful! Without this piece, you will not be able to make trinkets! You're right! Let's start with the base. Bring me the yarn, please. Sam is coming into play! Look what I can do, Sue! Hey, Sammy, be careful! Don't throw the materials for crafting! Okay, we'll start by putting together the cardboard and yarn. Aha! Uh -huh, you are making some kind of cool accessory! Like working with yarn, huh? It's like I used to help my grandma when I was a little girl. And we're almost done with the yellow yarn! Sammy, which color is next? I think brown will be the best option here! We'll repeat the same moves once again! Did you guess what this is going to be? In the meantime, the first step is done! So Sammy, what will it be? I know! It will be my new hat! A hat? Hmm, great idea! Maybe I should make one for myself as well! Oh no! It will be too small for your head! And this was my idea! I'll use larger cardboard pieces and more yarn! Ah, only slimes can wear such hats! The ones like me! I have no doubt about that! But the ghost won't wait! Let's create a fluffy trinket by cutting all this! We'll get rid of the cardboard later! I wanted help! Check it out! I tried to wind the yarn around, but I got entangled! <laughs> Ugh, Sue, I don't feel well now! <laughs> Sorry, I'll use your yarn for the next step. There you go. This way. And hop, it's very easy. Now we can remove the unnecessary pieces like cardboard and paper clips. Oh, I'll take these. They look like horseshoes, you know. Horseshoes? Huh, I didn't think about that. We may use them for making a toy horse. Haha. <laughs> um, I've hidden them for the next craft, so the ghost won't take them away. Great, you are a very smart slime. What is this? Wow, a watermelon? No, Sammy, it's a QP! Look! Right! Now I see it! We just need to add a few decorative pieces. Let's start with the wings. I'm sure the ghost will love it. Shouldn't it fly without wings? One, two... Ugh, I guess it can't. Yes, the wings is a must! Let's attach them right now! Huh? It also needs to see where it flies, right? Sammy, check out this little cutie! Bzzz. Ugh, Sue, can she sting me? Of course not, don't worry! You can't sting anyone having such cute little cheeks, right? According to this image, she also needs a stinger and feelers! Don't worry, Sammy! Here they are! And here comes another one! And the stinger goes straight to the back! Huh? All we've left to do is to add the chain so you can attach this trinket to the keys or a bag! The first thing for our ghost is ready! Let's keep going! Look at this trinket! You're completely relaxed! You want to help me make another one! I'm relaxed! I want to help! I'll bring the box with my favorite stuff! Just a second… Here it is, Susie! Wow, you keep so many interesting things in here! All right! Unfreeze! Now you can move! What have I done? Oh my god, my treasures! Treasures? Well, let me see what interesting stuff you're hiding there! Uh, um, nothing special! Don't look in there! <laughs> okay, I won't. I'd rather start making a trinket tassel. Huh? A tassel? It looks more like a leg with pigtails. Let me tie it for you. No way! Whatever you say, Sammy. We'll make you some more great trinkets. Look, it looks like that ghost, doesn't it? Ooh. Ah, the ghost! It'll be back by the evening! 
Don't worry, Sammy. We still have enough time to make everything that we've planned. Phew, I'm glad I'm not alone. When I'm scared, I can't think of anything. It's all right, Sammy. That's what friends are for, you know. Check out this funny trinket tassel we've got. What do you think? It's cute, of course. But for me, this is not enough for a trinket. I agree. Therefore, we will supplement the tassel with a pom-pom made of yarn. But Sue, we've already made one yarn trinket! Sammy, don't worry, we'll do something interesting. The ghost will love it. Okay! Only the beginning matches. It is necessary to wind the yarn around your finger. Sue, Sue! Here, Sue. I brought you that cardboard base. You could wind that around it. Thank you, but I decided to improvise a bit. <laughs> yeah? Well, okay. So we'll do without it. For making small pom-poms, fingers are better. See? The ghost is watching you! Oh, are you scared? <laughs> no, Sammy, I'm not scared at all. You know the ghost is not coming after me. Check out what a cool pom-pom I got. Well, I see. Just a pom-pom. Similar to what we've already made. Don't rush, Sammy. Now you will see how it will be transformed. We just need to find the right beads. Maybe these ones? Wow! Yeah, you have a real treasure here! Why did you hide it from me? <laughs> so that I could use it at the most unexpected moment. There are only a couple of steps left. Let's add the chain with the tassel and the second trinket for the ghost is ready. Wow, I really like this option! But I'm sad the ghost will take it. Maybe it will leave you something. By the way, I have a couple more ideas. For the next trinket for the scary ghost, I want to use this beautiful soft felt. Well, it can also be used as a blanket? Why didn't I think of this before? <laughs> well, no. Besides, you already have a blanket. I have prepared these pieces from cardboard as a template. We just need to transfer the outline to the felt and then cut it out. I got it! You want to make a trinket like this! That's right. To realize this idea, we need the pieces out of felt. Hmm, something is missing. Sue, your magic isn't working right! Now we need to glue them together so that it looks like a cute watermelon. Sue, I already made the second part of it! Thanks! Now let's put some filler inside our trinket so it will be more bulky. Sammy, look for small pieces for decoration while I sew everything together! Check it out! I've chosen these ones! They fit our trinket perfectly! Well done, Sammy! You see how great it is when we work together! <laughs> you don't say! Now I will put these pieces to the place where they should be! Sammy, check out this cute little buddy! Oh, Sue, look! I found one more chain! Without it, a trinket is not a trinket! Here is our wonderful third craft. Bring the others, please. Here, Sue, take them. I even unhooked them from the keys for you. Thank you, Sammy. How do you like the result? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. This is not enough for the ghost. Can we make something else? So let's think about it. I have an idea, but I need pictures. Pictures? Will these ones do? Huh? Yeah. Now look what we're going to do. First, let's make the outline. Oh, my feta! I got it! I'll draw everything now! No one can do it better than me! Like this! A little more… Uh-huh. I won't even argue with you. The next step is to color our drawing. And here's what I've got! What about you, Sammy? And I have such a picture! Pretty sure the ghost will like mine better! We need to glue these drawings to the foam paper and… Wow! What a pineapple! Sue, how are we gonna secure them? These patches are beautiful, but still… There are several ways. For example, you can use a pin. <laughs> we'll attach our patches to your bag! What do you say? Agreed! We have some patches on a self-adhesive fabric. Guys, let's check out all our crafts again! Trinkets and patches! 
I hope this is enough and that I won't be taken away! <laughs> Relax, Sammy, it's me! So it was you? Why did you scare me? I just really wanted to make trinkets and patches. Phew, you could have just told me about it! I'm ready to craft day and night! Guys, did you like our crafts? If yes, give us a thumbs up! Bye-bye! Bye-bye, guys! Oh, wow! We're on a beautiful beach in Australia! Oh, I love it at the beach! We've got the sea, we've got the sun, and of course, we've got my footprints in the sand! Wait a minute! That's just given me a great idea! Let's try something! Have fun with your feet and try making a fantastic footprint animal picture! Let's make it! Now we're going to need a mini maker to help us. Let's see if there's one nearby. <laughs> Hello, mini makers. Now who's going to help me today? Hello, Mr. Maker. I'm Jaden. Oh, hello, Jaden. I can help you. Oh, that's fantastic news. Everyone else, thank you very much. We'll see you soon. Oh, brilliant. Jaden is on his way to help us make our picture. But first, we need somewhere to make it. <laughs> Oh, wonderful! The marvellous maker case has become a marvellous making table. Now we just need some arty things to make our footprint animal picture. We'll need a tray, some paper or card, some paint, a glue stick, some scissors and a pen, and my travel can of stinky feet spray. My travel can of stinky feet spray? We don't need this. We just... Scraps, how did you get here? Oh, I see. Look, we don't need this can of stinky feet spray at the moment, but we do need some stickers. Oh, good. Off you go. <laughs> Oh, here we are, some stickers! Thank you very much, Scrap. We've got some stickers! There we are, we've got everything we need, except it does feel like there's something missing. Hmm. Do you know what it is? I'm here, Mr Maker. Jaden, of course, thank you very much for coming. You're just in time to help us make this footprint animal picture. Look! It's a mummy kangaroo with her baby in her pouch. Are you ready, Jaden? Yeah, sure. Good. Are you ready? Fantastic. Let's make it. Now, the first thing we're going to do is draw a kangaroo. Jaden, can you pass me that orange card there, please? That's it. Now, drawing a kangaroo is easier than you think. Let's start off by drawing a big teardrop shape for the body. Then, do a smaller one for the head, a longer one for the tail, and two small ones for the ears. Now, we mustn't forget the kangaroo's pouch. That looks a little bit like a smiley mouth. Now, Jaden, what do you normally see in a kangaroo's pouch? A joey. A joey, that's right. That's a baby kangaroo. So, Jaden, why don't you use that brown card and draw the baby kangaroo. Now, Jaden, you're going to draw a small baby-sized teardrop for the head, two tiny teardrop ears, and two paws. Good job, Jaden. And when you've drawn all of your kangaroo pieces, you need to cut them out. But be careful, because scissors are... Sharp. That's right. <laughs> There, we've got all of our cut-out pieces of our kangaroo and our joey. And now, Jaden, we're ready to arrange them on our background. And when you're happy with your picture, we can glue everything down. But now we're going to add eyes, noses and mouths using stickers and a black pen. That's her nose. 
It's just like your nose. Like my nose? <laughs> and here are the eyes. It's looking good, Jaden, but something's missing. What is it? Feet. Feet, that's right. Walk this way. <laughs> now, this can get a little bit messy, so you'll see that Jaden is wearing an apron. We've put down some old paper, and our paint is in a tray. Now, if you're going to make this at home, make sure you get an adult to help you. But today, Jaden, I'm going to help you. High five. <laughs> Excellent work. Now, very carefully, Jaden. Step into the tray of paint. One foot at a time. That's it. And another foot. Good boy. And then one foot at a time, step onto the picture. Oh, well done. That's it. And then your other foot. That's brilliant. And now step back into the tray. Good boy. Excellent work. What a great picture. And if you enjoyed that, why not try these other ideas too? How about a seal with footprint flippers? <laughs> or you could try a scorpion with footprint pincers and a footprint sting. Or you could even try making a pair of terrific toucans with multicoloured footprints for beaks. Animal footprint pictures are great fun. Why don't you try one today? Now, Jaden, we've cleaned your feet up and all that remains is for me to say a big thank you for helping me, Jaden. We made it! What a fabulous way to use your feet. Well done, Jaden. Bye. <laughs> it's wonderful travelling the world. It's so much to see. Oh, look, that's Sydney's famous opera house. <laughs> it, oh, what? What's that noise coming from the marvellous maker case? Can you hear that? <laughs> it's the shapes! They're off on their journey around the world. I am a shape. I am a circle. What are the circles making today? Can you guess? What could it be? It's a sheep! Well done, shapes! It's time to get back in the marvellous maker case! <laughs> What's going on? I totally forgot to get school supplies! How am I supposed to go to school tomorrow? Oh, let's make them ourselves! <gasps> right! So you're a genius! Oh, I've so many ideas already! Hey, wait for me! Come on, hurry up! Let's get started! And what should I draw on? <gasps> the table's just fine! Wait, 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 stop that! Huh? Here, tell me, what are we gonna make first? Well, I was thinking of doing everything at once! <laughs> Uh, yeah, right. Let's go with the backpack then. It's the biggest thing you'll need. And even I already know what character should we take as a reference. Mmm, interesting. Hey, hey. I'll stay out of the way, Sam. I have to stay concentrated. In the meantime, you can try and guess who I'm drawing here. So, any ideas? Oh, oh, it's my melody, Sue! But wait, I want to add something, too! <laughs> now 
we're talking. <laughs> well, the blueprint is done. And now we need to color it. Um, Sammy? Where did he go? Ah, what could be better than a walk in the woods? Oh, such a beautiful color. Smells good, too. Just what I need. <laughs> Timber! Oh, whoa. whoa, hey, what's going on? Sammy, well, thanks, I guess. Maybe this yellow will be good for the bow. Hmm, nah. Sam, can you bring me the markers? Whoa! I already have them here, Sue! Here you go! Oh, great! It's two of them! I think I'll go with this one. Oh, yeah. It already looks so much better. And I'll use a slightly different shape to color it. Move, please. I want to do a few amendments if you don't mind. Uh huh. At least now she can see. <laughs> uh, I'd say she almost can. Good thinking, though, Sammy. Here comes a friendly smile. Oh, and I found the perfect pink for the outline. Oh, really? Let me see. Whee! Hey, I really like it. I guess there's no better expert in pink than you, Sammy. <laughs> <sighs> Whoops, I think this marker is out of pink. Seriously? I didn't know we can do that. Hey, here's an idea. Uh, what, what, what? <laughs> what? What are you doing? Stop that immediately! <laughs> <laughs> Next time, the hats up will be nice, you know. Oh, better look at what we've got here. All we've left to do is color these two stripes. I think we're done with it. Well, what do you say, Sammy? I think it needs more durability. Away! Hey, <laughs> sticky tape, wait for me! <laughs> Thanks for the help. <laughs> Now this backpack is definitely sandproof. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to put all these pieces together. Ahem. Aren't you forgetting the back of our backpack? Whoops, my bad. Now we have all the parts we need. The assembling stage is pretty easy. Ready? Now I'll have my snack break. Good luck with that. Maybe you'll also find something to fill our backpack with. What do you eat? What do you eat? What do you eat? <gasps> chips! I love chips. <laughs> Hey, it's empty! Did I already eat it all? Oh, that's a bummer. Maybe there's something else back there? Hmm. Hmm. <gasps> Apple jam! My favorite! Oh, come on! C -c come on! Open no, no. Oh! Oh, fine. I never wanted it anyway. Oh, <gasps> whole jar of cotton candy! Oh, yippee! <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Unpleasant experience ever! Oh, Sammy, at least now we know that we shouldn't taste polyester batting. And. sealed. What do you say, friends? I like it. Uh, I think I lost my strength from hunger. Oh, you poor thing. Oh. Thank you. Now, this should go over here. And a couple of shoulder straps, of course. Uh huh. And don't forget about the zipper, Susie. There's no backpack without it. Right, there we go. Oh, would you just look at this cute, squishy backpack we made? I won't look, I won't test it. <laughs> and now, guess what? I need some stationery. Well, your wish is my command. What? Are you serious? Oh. <laughs> Let's start with writing utensils. We'll make a pencil now. It'll be easy to erase it in case you make a mistake. Now hold on a sec. I want to make sure you're doing it right. Uh-huh. Well, I knew that. You forgot the main theme of my stationery. That's better. You can proceed. <laughs> Thanks for looking out for me. Now pick a color. Oh, I really like that yellow marker. My Melody's nose will be yellow. And her eyes will look good being black. Wait, did you say black? Here's a... Huh? I 
thought you wanted me to help you. <laughs> Singy, you know I'm always happy when you help me. It's just this stage of craft is pretty basic. Huh? You really mean that? Yep. Okay, then. like to take my new backpack outside, if you don't mind. Wait, wait, wait. Before you do that, pass me the tea, please. Ah, uh, I do that, but I can't get out! <laughs> That's not funny. Why do I always end up like that? Well, maybe slimes and tape just don't get along. <laughs> anyway, at least I'm pretty good for the tea. See? Now we just need to give our pencil its shape. Oh, I can't wait to give it a better look. <sighs> oh, I can see you, friend. <laughs> Whoa, I can see a lot of stuff, actually. Do we need anything from that, too? We absolutely do. Now that tip totally could use a black marker, am I right? To make my pencil look like a real pencil, you know? Right you are, Sammy. Here we go. Well, we're all set for the surgery, Doc. Ahem, <clears throat> nurse, I need tweezers. Here you go. And some filler. Sure thing. Okay, let's do this. Now this goes here. Uh-huh. Very well. Just hold on here, buddy. Phew. The procedure went without complications. It's your turn now. Let me see. Hmm. Nice stitching, Dr. Sam. Let me just do the final step. And we're all set. Well, I'm glad to be helpful to a fellow doctor. I think we could use a little flower over here. Perfect. One squishy pencil. Check. Oh, it's so nice to the touch. Here you go, Sam. Thanks! I'll be all set with a notebook! We should start from the sketching once again. But I'll do the sketch myself this time. <laughs> Voila! It's your cue, little Sue! Wow, I didn't know you were a poet. Did you know that, friends? Oh. And now... To the coloring. I also made a little something to make the notebook look cute. Aww, it's so cute. Let's put it aside for now. Hello, Mr. Maker here at home. What have you been doing today? I hope you've had lots of fun. I'm looking forward to getting creative and having an arty idea. You never know when a good idea will hit you. <laughs> Wow! It's my friend Dodge calling me! Perfect timing! Hello, Dodge! Hi, Mr. Maker! <laughs> How are you? I'm well, thanks! Are you okay? I am, but Mr. Maker, I need your help! Anything for you, Dodge! What's up? Well, I think teachers are brilliant! I agree! And they work so hard! Yeah, but not just the teachers, of course! Everyone who works in nurseries and playgroups and schools everywhere! They deserve a big, massive thank you! Yes! And all the grown-ups who teach children at home, too. You're right, Dodge. So, how can I thank them? Um, well, you can sing a song for them. That's a great idea. Hit it! A one, two, three, four! I am a shape. I am a shape. Oh, no. I need to do something else. Something a bit more personal that I can send to all the teachers and staff in schools everywhere to say thank you. Dodge, I just had an arty idea. I know what you can make. Brilliant. Make it, Mr. Maker. Make it, Mr. Maker. Let's make a lovely thank you card. Thank you, Mr. Maker. Making a thank you card is lots of fun. Simply start with a piece of paper or card like this. You can use any colour you like. Fold it in half, and then you've got the beginnings of a thank you card. Oh, how are you going to decorate it, Mr. Maker? Well, let's find out, Dodge. I've torn out a strip of green paper, and I'm going to glue it to the bottom of the thank you card to be the grass. I'm also sticking down this lolly stick that I've painted green. But of course, you can use any colours you like. 
Finally, I just add some pretty pom-poms for petals. Can you see what it is, Dodge? Oh, it's a beautiful flower. <laughs> what do you think, Dodge? A beautiful thank you card. Oh, it looks great. Now I just need to make lots of them to send to everyone who works in every school in the whole wide world. You're going to send a thank you card to every teacher and staff member in the whole world? Yep. It might take me the rest of the day, you know. I think it might take a little bit longer than that, Dodge. But you get started, and good luck, my friend. I'll see how you're getting on in a few days. OK. Thanks, Mr Maker. Bye. Now, hmm, where did I put those pom-poms? Bye, Dodge. <laughs> oh, it was great to see Dodge. He's got a lot of thank you cards to make and send out. But that is so kind of him, you know. I just, I just, um, uh, oh. What's that noise? It sounds like snoring and it's coming from upstairs. Who could that be? I know who it is. It's the shapes. Circle, triangle, square and rectangle all snoring away. With the shapes asleep, it means no shape dance today and no singing to I am a shape. <laughs> it's a real shame, but I suppose the only way we could do those things is if I put on shape costumes and I do the dance myself. <laughs> but we can't do that. <laughs> Can we? Come on, Mini Makers, let's dance with the shapes. I am a circle. Spin around, spin around in a circle on the ground. A triangle. Clap your hands in the air. Triangles everywhere. I am a square. Everybody draw a square. Draw it here, draw it there. I am a rectangle. Bounce everybody. Bounce like you just don't care. What's it going to be? Wait and we will see. A shape for you and me. I am a square. Make something to celebrate our friend Square. First, ask a grown-up to help you find four clean dry lolly sticks and glue them together like this to make a square. When the glue is dry, paint your wooden square any colour you like. And when the paint is dry, you'll have a square frame. You can decorate this however you like. Perhaps with old buttons and beads and bits and pieces you can find. Glue them onto the wooden frame. When your decorations are securely fixed in place, you can add a piece of ribbon to the top of your frame so it can be hung up. Look, this square frame is all different shades of blue. Add in a photo or a picture of one of your best friends and you can frame it. I am a square. Thank you for coming to visit me at home today. We've had a great time. We caught up with our friend Dodge and made a thank you card. And we celebrated the shapes with some artwork and a dance. Keep making things and have lots of fun. And remember, your home is where the art is. Intuition has never fooled Detective Sam before. Hmm, something bad has clearly happened here, huh? <laughs> ah, cool. The detective involuntarily noted to himself that his partner Susan would be horrified by such a mess. <gasps> Wait a minute, where is Sue? The detective was sure that the lead to this incident was right in front of him. Well, 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 what do we have here? Don't look for me. Detective Sam needs to reconstruct the chain of events. It all began like an ordinary craft day. Hi guys, Sam and I decided to make a very unusual craft today. A magic typewriter made of cardboard! <laughs> oh Sammy, come on, you just stolen my thunder. And I thought you were my best friend. <sighs> no, Susie, please don't hold grudges. I just really, really wanted to help. Let me outline everything by myself, what? huh? Mm, here, you better work with this. Just follow my lead. Draw two circles with a diameter of 2.5 centimeters and then turn them into the openings. Nothing complicated here. Piece of cake, especially for an experienced crafter like me, Sue. 
Wow, good job. Hmm, maybe we should make our crowd brighter, don't you think? Uh-huh, not another word. Samuel Magnifique is already here. And I'm full of brilliant ideas. Huh, what kind of character was that? What if he's involved in Sue's disappearance? How do you like this color palette, Mademoiselle Susan? I think it's perfect. This is the hottest color in this season. <laughs> well then, it's good that I have already... Wow! Oh, degraded all the details! Wow, now that's what I call a bullseye. And now let's do this. And the first step in the assembling of our craft will be left behind. All right, somewhere here I saw the details for the next stage. Aha! Uh -huh, protect yourself! Ha, ha, take that! This one! Hey, why did you ruin my game? You do get distracted so easily, Sammy. At this rate, it'll take us forever to finish this craft. Ah, uh, you're right. Ugh, come on, let me help you, Susie. Hi, yeah, all done. Wow. Guys, don't forget that you can always ask an adult for help. Oh, I just can't believe that very soon I'll have my personal typewriter. Woohoo! <laughs> By the way, what exactly are you planning to use it for? I'm gonna write a detective novel. After all, all great writers have such gadgets, right? Oh, Sam, it's not the typewriter that makes the work great. It's the talent of the author. Well, I definitely have a plenty of that. Ha! <laughs> and what are you making? Hmm? The thing without which our craft will not work as it should. So, could you not distract me? And now, we'll carefully fix our paper strip on the lower roller. Help, then don't distract. Could you make up your mind? Ow! Who was that? <laughs> that was instant punishment for your grouchy mood. <laughs> Already hard, very funny. So why do we need these details? We will glue this one like this so that it would be a tiny distance between it and the rollers, you see? And here we'll be putting paper sheets to print whatever we want on them. And the second part is the black wa- Hey, Sammy, what are you doing? An instant punishment for you being smarty pants. <laughs> oh, you. We'll glue this part a bit at an angle and the mechanism of the typewriter is finished. Finally, we're one step closer to finishing our craft. Uh, I think I'm hungry. Oh. Psst, guys, while Sammy's gone, I'll show you a secret. The trick is to feed the paper sheet into the mechanism with the right side up. Uh, oh, sure, would you like a cookie? Oh, hey, what are you don't doing? Don't near the craft. Oh, hey, how rude. Ew, that was close. <laughs> Remember, guys, we start from the bottom roller and twist it in like this, slowly, until the paper sheet is completely hidden inside. Okay, no food. Satisfied. <coughs> Poor thing. That's because you're always in a hurry. I'll go drink some water. Be right back. Okay, guys, we don't have much time. Watch carefully. Here goes a blank sheet. We'll spin the roller like this, imagining that we're really typing something here. And ta-da! <laughs> really great, isn't it? Oh, Sam's coming. All right, Susie, now I'm definitely ready to continue working on our craft. Just what we need. Uh, but I haven't finished. Remember, guys, you should always use only clean props for your craft. Whoa! I didn't expect that. Now let's get rid of the excess, huh? And we'll fix the necessary pieces using ordinary wooden sticks. Ew, I don't get it. I thought we were done with the mechanism. Uh, the thing is, I've just remembered that I forgot something very important. Be careful with the hot glue, guys. Don't burn your fingers. Here we go. Uh-huh. Ah, even the old knowing Sue makes mistakes. <laughs> Let me help you, otherwise something will go wrong again. Would you be so kind? Uh-huh. Thanks. Uh-huh. There we go. And done. <laughs> all we've left to do is attach that thing in its place. And an all will come in handy. Guys, don't use any sharp tools without at all supervision. Now everything seems to be great. Wait, Let's just stop! I have an idea. Give uh, that thing to me. Okay, <laughs> I'll wait. Ha, here, I've covered it with the prettiest duct tape I can Whoa, find. Oh, Sammy, I just love it. And check out how great it fits into the overall design of the craft. Looks very cool, right? And here goes the last step of the stage. Need edges. <laughs> well, half of the craft is ready. It's time to move on. Susie, I cut everything out just like you said. Why, thank you. Ow! Our main task is to make neat folds like this on both sides of this piece so that this cardboard strip would sort of hug the mechanism. Not hard, right? And now we'll secure everything with glue. Whoa, wait, Tammy. It's a bit too early for that. We need to cut the front part of the case first. Huh? I said the front part of the case. That's what I was talking about. But guys, be careful when you cut all of this out. Oh, I can know me, but I want to help you so bad. Well, you can tell me something interesting and the work will go oh, faster. All right. Did you know? 
that the first piece of fiction printed on a typewriter was The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, and it was almost 150 years ago! Wow, now that's knowledge, Sammy. How old is the typewriter itself then, huh? Over 300 years old, and the world's first patent for it was issued by <laughs> Queen Anna. So, we're making almost royal craft here. Only not this Anna, but the English Queen Anna Stewart. <laughs> That's better. Slime inspection! Uh-huh, extra support is always good. And now let's check everything. All right, our printed mechanism fits perfectly here. Uh, and where can I fit the keyboard, huh? I can't figure that out! Uh. Well, this is perhaps the most time-consuming part of our craft today. Using a key map template like this one, we'll carefully make the cuts on the bottom half of this piece. This way. Hop. Ah, uh, it's quite a painstaking process, guys. So while Sue's busy, hit the subscribe button. And now we need to slightly expand these openings like this. Speaking of, we're gonna need quite a lot of such wooden sticks today. So are you saying that? <gasps> I think I got it! Hold on a sec! Just don't go anywhere, Sue! <laughs> oh, that's slime. He's up to something again. While in the meantime, I'll bring the body of our machine to perfection. Interesting. I look at myself and understand that Sue does all the work in crafting by herself. That's not good. Sissy, I feel embarrassed that you do all the crafting all alone. Therefore, ta-da! All this will make a great keyboard. Same great, huh? Are you saying that it will make keyboard keys from buttons? That's brilliant, Sammy. In that case, all we've left to do is carefully glue the buttons like this. And at this stage, you can ask an adult to help because we're gonna need a lot of buttons. Now we'll carefully secure each of them in its place. Like this. You can look at your computers and phones and replicate the keyboard layout. But you can also add a couple of keys of your own. Step aside! Well, what do you say, Sue? Wow, I think it turned out great, especially this heart key. Somehow, I don't like the hole in the middle of this crack, Sue. Did you make a mistake in the sizes when you cut out the details? Of course not. In the real typewriters, it is the space where the printed segment slots are located. But for our cardboard gadget, we can build segment slots from… improvised materials. You're doing great, Sue! Hey, you have it all figured out! Why, of course! Especially with our crafting experience, Sammy. You know, we always do everything qualitatively and beautifully. Do you agree, guys? It's time to try out the typewriter! Alright, let's fill the paper here. This way. And now we're going to type, for example, mm, I love… Sammy. <laughs> and… Look! Everything's working! What good crafters we are! It's just incredible! Hooray! Now I can print my detective novel! Oh. But first, why don't we check out our craft one more time, guys? Buddy's deed. Hey, come here. And the message? You just didn't read it till the end. See for yourself. Don't look for me. Off to the store. Be right back. <gasps> Holy cannoli! I guess I messed this one up. 
You kind of scared me, though. Guys, did you like our craft today? Then we're waiting for your thumbs ups and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure that you hit the bell button as well. See you soon, boys and girls. Bye-bye.